My other question is, uh, when you were presenting earlier, you mentioned uh, you reference from the Bible, and it talks about that Jesus is the only way, according to the Bible, right? That's exclusive, right? So if I choose a different way than Jesus, according to the Bible, there's no pathway to paradise, heaven, whatever relationship with God. Um, in the Quran, is, is there something similar to there is this way and only this way? And I guess maybe as a Christian asking, what specifically does it say in relation to Christianity, those who have put their faith in Jesus? Okay, in chapter number 2, Surah Baqarah, verse number 62, God says, those who believe, okay, the Jews, the Christians, and the Sabi'in, who do righteous deeds, they will be saved. Now, this was, seems, like, seems like giving indication that the Jews and the Christians okay, are saved. But again, when we look into the interpretations of these particular verses, these verses is referring to the Jews and the Christians during that particular point of time, during the time of Moses, during the time of Jesus, who follow the way of Jesus, whatever he teach. Okay, whatever that he teach, the thing that he teach as according to the Islamic belief is that this is my way. We believe that John chapter number 14, verse number 6, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the light. No one come near to the Father except through me. Yes, we believe, we, we, we believe in that verse, no problem. Because we believe that Jesus is the only way to God, to paradise during his time. Likewise, during the time of Moses, likewise, during the time of uh, Abraham, of all the prophets before him. They are the way. Okay? And of course, uh, coming to the Quran, in chapter number 3, verse number 19, God said, In the sight of God, the religion that is accepted by God is only Islam. What Islam means? Islam is not uh, a new religion as per se. Okay? And in the same chapter, chapter 3, verse number 85, God said, Whosoever who choose other than Islam will not be accepted. That's why for us as a Muslim, we believe the previous nations, before the time of Noah, all of them are safe because they commit no uh, shirk, what we call associating partner with God. Then the time of Noah, where people start to worship other than the true God itself, where God starts to stand, all the prophets and messengers, those who follow the instruction of all the prophets in their particular time. The Quran makes it very explicit. In chapter number 17, verse number 15, that Allah will not punish a nation until he sent a messenger. But let me clarify for that. There are times where in between one prophet to another prophet, there are no prophet in between them. How about that? Those people, they are not guaranteed safe, neither they are guaranteed condemnations. <coughs> no. What will happen? So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he clarified this in the hadith, in the saying, where he said, on the day of judgment, there will be four categories of people who will come forward to Allah and complain, Oh Allah, we are old age. Oh Allah, we are crazy, mentally unstable. Oh Allah, we could not understand, we could not ponder. Oh Allah, there are no messengers coming to us. So during that time, Allah will give them a test. And Allah will instruct them, jump into the fire. That instruction only. Some will jump because now God is the one who commands you to jump. But some would question God. Why should I jump? Are you crazy? I don't want to jump into it. Now, that is the last test for them. Those who jump, they really obey God and they will be saved and they will go to paradise. So that is the justice of God where everyone are being given uh, opportunity, the access to worship through God. Did I answer your question, brother? You answered it very well. Just one point of clarity. There was a question about what Jesus taught in his day versus what we have captured in the Bible today yeah. is different in your, in, according to like it's corrupted, right? It's what we have now. Okay, we, we do respect, and, and I, I hope- That's we, okay, but I'm just saying, like, to be clear, I'm just saying, even if, I, even if I had the true words that Jesus had taught as the way then, according to the Quran, that's not, because I live now, even if I had the right words, it's not, uh, it doesn't approve me for paradise. Is that right? Yes and no. Okay. Why? Okay. I mean, this might be a bit blunt, but I like to be blunt it's because okay. for me, honesty is the best policy. Okay. Yes, if let's say 
If they say you know, knowingly, okay, Jesus was a prophet, for example, Jesus was a prophet, and you do your best to follow his teaching, meaning the red letter Bible. That is his word. Okay? Not the letter from Paul. Not the one Paul said because Jesus himself circumcised, but Paul said you do not need to circumcise. So, if you truly, sincerely, you really want to worship the one true God and follow the way of Jesus, okay? Then, yes, there is a chance to go to paradise. But I say no, no, as I, as I share with him just now, uh, not you, but is that when there is a latest law review, then everyone follow the latest law. And uh, again, when we look into the Bible, you have a saying of Jesus himself in Red Letter where he said, I have not sent except to the lost ship of Israel. Okay? Meaning, be very, very specific that it's only been sent to Israel with a group of people. But for the Quran, uh, no less than six places where God said, this book, the Quran, was revealed for mankind. It's Hudalinas. It's a guidance for mankind. It's to call people back. And so there is a specific way talking to the people of the book. And the people of the book are referring to the Jews and the Christian. Where God say, Kulia al Kitab, say to the people of the book, Ta'ala, come. Ta'ala ila kalimati sawa'im bainana wa bainakum. Come to common terms between you and me. Where's the common terms? Ala na'muda ila Allah. We worship only one God. Wala nushika bin shaitan. We do not associate partner with God. That's it. Oh